Hello everyone, today is a video about our solar water pump that we have, uh, you know, pumping out of the lake. We, uh, we got quite a bit of water, as you can see, and when it floods we get even more water. But anyway, so um, I've got some trees that are up near uh, the shop and, and the buildings um, that need water daily, you know, just something to keep them getting started. Anyways, um, and I don't like using the, the city water. We actually have city water out here, but so I wanted to show y'all this little pump setup I did. It's pretty, yeah, I know it's pretty redneck, but so these are just um, two liter bottles, of course, that you can see, but I have them on here like this with the pump to keep the pump just below the water. Now it's floated up a little bit because I haven't came out here in a little while and checked it but normally it's it's about right there and it's you know probably a couple feet deep at that point anyways it does really well um it's one of those little cheap chinese made let me pull it back up i shouldn't have thrown it in huh it's one of those uh cheap chinese made hundred dollar pumps i think i got it three or four years ago um sorry reach down here to get the pump i think i got it three or four years ago off of amazon i think it was and um here we go let me see so this is just again one of those cheap little pumps you'll find them all over the place they've went up in price they're about uh 100 bucks now 120 bucks when i got this one i think i paid 70 or 80 bucks they weren't as popular like i said three four years ago it doesn't pump a whole lot um i don't know if you can read the label all old and worn off but 1.6 gallons per minute um let's see yeah that's like 90 something gallons uh an hour but anyways uh and that's at 24 volts it actually can handle uh six uh, what am i doing it this pump can handle 12 volt up to 24 volts and even a little bit more and it's actually got a controller inside of it that manages the um the voltage so again here's my little thing i'm gonna throw it back out in the water just a little bit i don't try to throw it too far so i can check it every now and then and clean it but um the the neat part about it is, is i've literally got it set up directly now I know that's indoor wiring, and uh, it's all I had at the time. My uh, junky Harbor Freight panels finally gave out after a couple years. They, uh, I guess, kind of delaminated off the glass. You could literally see the the glass and the, the solar cells kind of like separating, and uh, the pump wasn't working. So I thought the pump had went out, and uh, really it was just that, uh, that solar panel kit just no matter what even in the uh, bright sun just couldn't put out enough voltage or ampage to run that pump this is a 100 watt um, solar panel I got online it's a better brand what is that Renology Renology whatever anyways uh, here's the uh, specs on this solar panel that I have here it's, uh, it's a 12 volt panel um, you know, 12 volt panels actually kick out, I think about 18 on average, something like that. But, uh, the pump handles it fine. It's a direct connect to the pump and the pump knows when there's enough electricity turn on and when the electricity drops below what it needs, it turns off. So I don't have to have anything in between this. It, um, it kicks on pretty much dust to dawn and does its thing. But hundred watts, 12 volts, um, seven eight amps i guess um of electricity this pump doesn't need but i think it maxes out at four or five amps um i'll put the specs for the pump and this uh, solar panel um, in the description of this video but uh this panel now i bought six of these panels uh during a promotion when they had like no uh it was like free shipping and uh, shipping becomes a problem with solar panels if it jacks the price up. But anyway, so uh, I think I paid about 90 bucks a panel. Um, 
with free shipping, and I don't think there was a tax on it. I don't think there was tax. So, um, so that, you know, that's still close to a dollar a watt, which is still rather expensive, but all I wanted was some 100 watt panels. These I actually bought uh, for our RV, and I haven't mounted them yet, but since these Harbor Freight panels went out on me, uh, I put this here. I'm actually probably going to get like a 275 watt, like one large panel, and just, I know it's overkill, but um, I can I can pick up those nowadays, uh, even finding them used for like 50 bucks or you know, but I, I, you see them all the time uh, on Craigslist where people overbought or whatever, and you can pick up a panel for a hundred bucks. Uh, but the great thing is, is that it doesn't need a battery. So uh, it's almost kind of like a dust to dawn setup. I, again, I know I did indoor wiring. That's all I had. I'm, I've ordered some stuff online to, to do this better. And I'm actually going to put uh, up here a little higher. I'm going to make a little panel to, uh, I mean, a, a stand to seat the panel on and make it where I can reach it, clean it, do whatever. But uh, I'm gonna have wiring run through here. This is an actual water hose, it's an oak kink water hose. Uh, mainly because I didn't want to use the, just the regular black irrigation line, that stuff kinks up pretty easy. So I just uh, did, a, I did a check valve to make sure that, um, you know, once it pumped the water up, when it turns off, that all that water from uphill doesn't slowly work its way back down uh, into the lake and then it has to rerun all that back up. So anyway, so it's got a check valve in it just to, just to keep the water in the line. And then, uh, like I said, no kink water hose. There's one I had laying around that had an end of it I had to cut off. And um, this was like an old, we were going to do like a little boat ramp thing here, but didn't do it. But anyway, so I throw it there. And the water's, like I said, about two feet deep there. Uh, it drops actually pretty quickly in this area. So usually I'll just toss it out there and the wind to just kind of blow it back. But anyways, it... It pulls the water from right underneath the surface, so that way the pump's not getting dried out, but it's not also laying on the ground, uh, sucking up dirt. So um, it's actually pretty decent. It's got a 50 millimeter mesh, I think, or something, or I don't know. I'll have to put that in there. It's got some kind of mesh on it. You can see that on the specs of the uh, of the pump. But anyways, the, the mesh does pretty good to keep out anything big. Um, I mean, honestly, I had that thing sitting in this lake running for about a year without ever cleaning it off um, when I had some, like I said, some old Harbor Freight panels on it. And, um, you know, I thought the pump burned out or got clogged up. I came and checked it. The screen was actually still pretty clean. It, it actually wasn't that bad. So, I mean, it had, you know, some growth on it, but uh, it still would be able to pull water in with no problem. And the water makes it up to the top of the hill rather clean. I mean, I'm not drinking it, but... It's not dirt water it's pushing up. It's just uh, slightly dirty, cloudy water, but not much. It's actually pretty clean water. Anyways, long story short is that's how I pump water from the lake up to the top of the hill, which, um, you know, you got to go up the hill a good ways. I'm probably pumping this water. Let's see, I use 315, let's, yeah, 3500 rolls. And I barely made it. So I'm pushing it about 1,500 feet through half-inch poly tubing. Uh, it's like drip line. Um, and then it's got probably, I guess, about a 30-foot head increase. You know, not counting any head from the line or the water or anything. I'm just talking about vertical lift. Um, yeah, probably about 30 feet. So it's taking it from the uh, surface of the water, pumping it up 30 feet, and pumping it through 1,500 feet of hose. And honestly, the water pressure, I mean, it, it can pump pretty good pressure, but I mean, the water flow coming from the pump and coming from the end of that 1,500 foot of hose is pretty much the same. I mean, I don't really notice much different in flow. Uh, I can fill up one of those... Uh, those 300 pound ga those 300 gallon barrels easily in a day um, and that's usually all that matters I mean most of the time it fills one of those up and there's a timer that drains off of one of those 300 gallon totes uh, to do the drip and it more than fills that up I actually have to have the tote in an area so when it fills up and the water overflows that it just kind of flows down the hill and it's not a big deal um, but at least I know it's always pumping up enough water for the amount of drip that I need so but anyways, it's, uh, it's just a good testimonial to that pump is, um, like I said, man, I, I want to say it's like four years old. I'll go back and look. I know, 
I know it's at least two to three years, but I bet you it's four, maybe even five years old. And uh, man, I, I brought it, I took the panels off, get it, cleaned it off, turned, pumped it right, I mean, um, plugged it in and boom, went right back to pumping just as good as it used to. So I'm actually gonna buy me another one of those exact same pumps. So that way I can flip them out. I can uh, have this one in here, let it run for maybe a couple months, have the other one just sitting there. Uh, it's easy. I just have a, uh, for the hose, for the water hose outlet, I just have like a, a pipe or a hose clamp on there. And then the actual electrical outlet just unscrews off the top and uh, it's got gaskets in it. So literally if you had another one of the same model, I could just uh, take the clamp off, take the screw thing off, put the other one on and uh, put it in the water and be ready to go. And then I'd have the one I just pulled out that I can clean and have it all nice and ready for the next time I go switch them out. And um, like I said, it's more than enough. And who knows, I might end up putting two pumps out here if I need more water. But for now, it's been uh, been pumping pretty good. So for one uh, $100 solar panel and a $100 pump, and uh, you know, not counting the hose because you have to figure out all the hose that you need. But I mean, we're, we're talking less than 200 bucks uh, for the whole setup. And uh, it's been a very reliable water pump. So anyways, that's my, uh, that's my deal. And hopefully, uh, Hopefully that helps some of y'all. All right, y'all take care.